Top 6 Best Running Watch in 2024 Hello guys, today in this video we are going to help you to find out the best running watch in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them you can check our links in the description below. And like comment share this video, subscribe our channel. Thank you. Number 6. Garmin Forerunner 265. Our pick for the best sports watch and one of the best Garmin watches is also our top running watch, the Garmin Forerunner 265. This lightweight device gives you everything you'd want in a running watch, from accurate tracking to music controls to the ability to create custom workouts, for the price of an Apple watch. The device also offers access to Garmin's wide range of training metrics, which help you not only plan workouts but also recovery time. During testing, we found the Garmin Forerunner 265's beautiful Amoli display to be bright and easy to read, even in direct sunlight. It also has a touchscreen, which makes it easy to navigate around the watch. The battery is long enough to last through a few workouts, even with music playing. The Forerunner 265 has inherited some of the more advanced health features usually reserved for Garmin's more expensive running watches. The watch has Garmin's latest Elevate V4 sensor, the green light records heart rate, the red light records blood oxygen levels, referred to as pulse ox on the watch. This sensor is used to calculate breathing rate, HRV, and stress. It also now has the ability to track multi-sport training sessions in the triathlon mode, and Garmin's training readiness score. Number 5. Garmin Forerunner 55. If you're starting to get into running, chances are you want a device that's a step up from a basic fitness tracker but also won't overwhelm you with too many features. Among Garmin watches, the Forerunner 55 is a clear choice. At its core, the Garmin Forerunner 55 is an entry-level fitness watch, replacing the popular Forerunner 45 earlier this year. While it looks very similar to its predecessor, Garmin made some important changes, adding some of the more advanced training tools usually reserved for their more expensive watches. The Forerunner 55 has Garmin's new PacePro technology, which gives you gentle speed and cadence alerts on the run. There are also suggested recovery times and workouts, based on your training history, fitness levels, and recovery. This is a differentiator from similarly priced watches such as the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active or the Fitbit Charge 5 which track workouts but don't offer custom coaching plans. It's worth noting that the Garmin Forerunner 55 doesn't support music storage, mobile payments, or third-party apps. It also has a relatively small display, at just over 1 inch. If these are must-have features for your Garmin watch, you may want to consider a higher-end device. If you are looking for a cheaper watch, the Forerunner 45 is often in the sale right now, following the release of the Forerunner 55, so it's a good time to buy. Number 4. Garmin Forerunner 965. The Garmin Forerunner 965 replaced the Forerunner 955 in March 2023 as Garmin's top-tier running watch. The newer watch has a bright, beautiful 1.4-inch AMOLED touchscreen and a new titanium bezel to give it a premium feel both on and off the run. Underneath, however, the Forerunner 965 is pretty much the same as the Forerunner 955. This isn't a bad thing, the 955 is a fantastic watch, but if you already own a Forerunner 955 or a Phoenix 7, it's probably not worth upgrading just yet. The watch has all of Garmin's advanced training metrics, including the training readiness score, morning report, and Garmin's new chronic training load feature, which focuses on a 28-day sum of your training. Number 3. Coros Vertix 2. This is a monster running watch made by Coros, designed to rival the likes of the Garmin Phoenix 7. Whereas the Phoenix 7 comes in three different diameter options, 42mm, 47mm, and 51mm, and multiple additions to suit different budgets, fitness needs, and wrist sizes, there's only one model of the Vertix 2, which has a case diameter of 50.3mm up from 47mm with the original Vertix. There are no solar editions of the Coros Vertix 2. The high-spec watch does everything you'd want it to do and more, plus, it's designed for multi-day adventures. During testing, we appreciated the huge battery life of this running watch, which has the capacity to last 240 hours in Ultramax GPS mode. It's also super durable, with a reinforced bezel and screen to protect the watch from any knocks or scrapes along the trail. 
While you could buy this for a heavy marathon training plan, we tested this watch in the run-up to a trail marathon, if you're not someone who was planning on skiing, swimming, and going off-road, there are cheaper watches on the market for you. Number 2. Fitbit Sense 2. Not all smartwatches make for good running watches. Touchscreens can be tough to use with sweaty fingers or gloved hands. Batteries typically don't last for more than a couple days, either. Without an always-on display, you have to shake your wrist or press a button just to glance at the screen. The best smartwatch for runners is the Fitbit Sense 2. While it won't allow you to make untethered phone calls like the Apple Watch Series 8 or the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4, the Fitbit Sense offers better health and fitness features. The Fitbit Sense 2 is the company's premium smartwatch that comes with more advanced health and wellness features than the Versa line. Not only does it have an FDA-approved ECG sensor and blood oxygen reading, but the Sense has the ability to measure electrodermal activity and skin temperature, too. Compared to the original Fitbit Sense, the Sense 2 features an upgraded design, interface and EDA sensor, making for Fitbit's most holistic smartwatch yet. Number 1. Polar Vantage V2. Overtraining is a common cause of running injuries. Through a number of unique features, the Polar Vantage V2 is designed to help serious runners recover. This makes up for some of its limited smartwatch functionality and otherwise standard activity tracking features. After a run, you can use the Polar Vantage V2 to conduct a leg recovery test, which helps you determine how long to wait before your next hard run. Other watches provide recovery recommendations, but metrics specific to legs are unique to the Polar Vantage V2. In addition, the nightly recharge feature puts sleep quality in the context of workout recovery. During testing, one feature we found impressive was the training plans. Plugging workout data into Polar Flow lets you create training plans and share them with personal trainers or coaches, which is another way to help prevent injuries. It's worth noting, if you're after a bargain, the Polar Vantage V2 is likely to be on sale right now, following the release of the Polar Vantage V3. Made of aluminum, the 1.8-ounce Vantage V2 is slightly heavier than the 1.6-ounce Vantage V, but has the same size resolution and display, 1.2 inches, 240 by 240 pixels. That's the same screen as the just-released $499 Garmin Forerunner 745, another sports watch aimed at multi-sport athletes. Polar says the Vantage V2 should last up to 40 hours when using GPS, the same as the Vantage V, and up to 100 hours when you enable certain power-saving options. That's pretty epic, and on a par with the Garmin Forerunner 945, which costs $100 more. Also new to the Vantage V2 is some smartwatch-like features, music control, weather, and smartphone notifications. While you can control music playing on your smartphone using the Polar's display, you can't download tunes directly to the Vantage V2, something you can do on Garmin's devices, as well as many of the other best smartwatches. This is the top 6 best running watch in 2024. Please make sure to subscribe our channel for these kind of information. Thanks for watching.